I wear glasses and contact lenses every single day of my life because without them, this is how I see. And because as you know, I'm a master painter, I need a challenge. So today I'll be creating a fabulous masterpiece without my glasses. For ages, artists have pushed the boundaries. Some have painted with a bunch of different things like coffee or urine. For me, I feel like it's time to start a new art movement. The glassless. So David chose a reference photo for me because for you to comprehend the power of this new art movement, you have to see the bland, boring reality transformed into greatness. Are you ready? Prepare to be dazzled. Okay, so there's four choices. Okay. Choice number one. Oh, that's nice. Okay, next. Oh my God, I'll <laughs> take this. I'm ready. It looks like a really, looks like a butthole. I see nice shades of pink. We're gonna need pink, blue or green. Is that blue or green? Let's start with pink. There's like a ring of pink. So I'm gonna try to create this. There's like a round bit here. I feel like this is gonna require a lot of blending because everything is kind of like blended. Everything's beautiful in a blended world. There's a dark bit here and a dark little bit here. Squinting is like cheating. We can't squint because the image gets clearer and messes up with the integrity of the process. No squinting allowed. The process is the most important thing. Very often in art, the piece itself is kind of like an afterthought. The idea of the piece is more important than the piece. That's how you know it's real art. You get it. I feel like we need a bit of black or blue or green. It's a bit vague. I almost squinted, but I didn't. Something happening here. I'm seeing some green, like here, hints of green. It's very poetic, but then it's blended. Not squinting. There's a darker bit in the middle. I really need black. There you go. Yes, we need to blend. Blend, blend, blend. Everything's so blended. Blend, blend, blend. Yes, I'm getting chills. It's all coming together. I'll let this bit dry, work on the outer layer. No, I didn't squint. I did not squint. Ooh, that's nice. Blend, blend, blend. We're getting there. <gasps> it's okay. There, there. It's good. It's good. We're good. I didn't squint. Yes. Get it. It's important to get lost in the process and this blurry blended world makes you think that contrast is overrated. Yes, masterful. Yes, I see a hint of an edge over there. Just a hint. No harsh edges in the glassless movement, of course. Perfect, exactly what it needed. A nice underwhelming edge. Like this here is way too contrasty. It shocks your eye, you know? Let's blend. Like that, yeah. We're there. Bit more blending, of course. When I see the edges disappear, mm, so good. In moments of doubt, just add water. I think a bigger brush would really make this. I'm getting chills. Look at this. Oh yes. Bigger tools is gonna be a revelation in this movement. The glassless need big brushes. Let it be known. And buckets of water. And to reset your eye and your mind, try to get as far as you're painting as you can. Yeah as far as you need to, to see less, but see more. 
magical. This is a mistake, a raw edge. It's an outrage. More water. Okay, we recovered it. Edges are the enemy. No edges. More blending. Lots of water. Bigger tools. Yes. Okay, we're almost there. There was more black here. I'm going to create the black shape. There'll be an edge. There'll be an edge, but it's only the first stage, so don't be alarmed. I will blend it. I wouldn't leave it as an edge. Just gonna mist water. I see a hint of yellow. There might not be yellow. That's not the point. The point is... For the glassless, I feel like oil paints might be the ultimate medium because you have so much time to blend. But you know, it's kind of like the easy way. I like the challenge of acrylic where it dries before you can blink. All this blurriness is very calming, I must say. So if ever you're stressed out, take off your glasses and go for a walk. More texture. Blend, blend, blend. Get those edges gone. Oh yeah, now it's shaping up. With this little blur here, we're almost there. Oh, yes, the blur on this. I'm sensing a hint of red. Not sure that it's there. It just... Mm. And that's the magic. This is too strong, of course. Water. Yes. There's hints of like... Je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi. But keeping it very, very blended. There's a depth in the middle drawing you in. I'm going to accentuate it, but I want to keep things very blended. Fingers are allowed, of course. I have no words. Could be an eye dunked in Vaseline. The anus of a chimpanzee or a window to the soul. The genius lies in the mystery. There's only one thing left to do, and it's to compare bland, boring reality to greatness. Let's do this. <laughs> what the fuck? Yes, the cat is endearing quizzical eyes, but the mystery, depth, and perception that I was able to render in this painting cannot really be explained in words. It's a blur. Art is not meant to be talked about, it's meant to be experienced, so it's been experienced. <laughs> a f cat. Looking at both, there are no comparison. One really draws you in, it makes you wonder. Without seeing, I was able to really see. After seeing this, you're probably a changed person. Your mind has expanded or shrunk. If you think you love this, wait till you see this one. I still get chills. <coughs> Subscribe.